trick or treat well get ready for a big treat because things are getting spooky on this channel today <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, it's Halloween season and we are painting nightmares. <coughs> Last week, I made a video upload in which I made a spooky Halloween artwork tha, and I think you guys loved it so I thought why not make another one and this time let's make it even spookier. So I made some references today and found this poster for the Monster House movie. I thought this would be the perfect for the Halloween but there was a very big problem thi. But before we dive into that, let's start the video so you don't get bored at looking at me in this blank screen. <laughs> Alright. So about the problem, how am I supposed to create this monster house? I mean I could have done it in a realistic way just like Benny karta hai, but that would be little time consuming as I mujhe laga. So I decided kiya ke use ek dam identical nahi banate hain poster se, but thoda similar banate hain. You get it right? And of course we don't have ready made monster house, so I had to create it from the scratch. To create the monster house from the scratch, I dwelled into an endless black hole of the house stock images to find the perfect match for our monster house. And I found these stock images that helped me to create the monster house. मैं यूजुअली इमेजेस को ज्यादा मोड़ता मरोड़ता नहीं हूं बट दिस वन रिक्वायर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ इट सो इट टुक मी अ वाइल टू असेंबल द हाउस विद डिफरेंट पार्ट्स यू कैन फाइंड द हाउस इन अदर स्टॉक इमेजेस थ्रू द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई एम स्लोइंग डाउन दिस पार्ट फॉर दोस हु वांट टू सी द असेंबली प्रोसेस अदरवाइज तुम लोग ये वाले पार्ट की स्पीड बढ़ा सकते हो
After assembling the house and composition, I started correcting their brightness value to fit them into the scene. Then I began color correcting them, attempting to achieve the same kind of blue tone as you can see in the poster itself. Or वो करते करते मैंने ऑब्जेक्ट्स के बीच में फोक भी की टू गेट दैट फेडेड लुक फॉर द डिस्टेंस ऑब्जेक्ट Next came the highlights and shadow parts which enhanced the artwork. I started from the background and slowly moved towards the foregrounds. First, I made clouds ko theek kiya, us pe dark or light areas paint karke using exposure layers. I continued to do the same thing for the forest and the beds. If you look at the poster, you will see this creepy dead trees. And to achieve that kind of shape, I use the pocket pop tool to give the trees the desired form. और तुम उसे कोई भी shape दे सकते हो, वो तुम्हारी personal choice है. Just ensure they look creepy. Now the monster house, the most challenging part of the entire artwork. To begin, I painted the obvious shadows all over the house, making some parts really dark so that other elements pop out and create the illusion of 3D space. After completing the shadows, I added highlights and these highlights are from the moonlights only. और जैसे ही वो खत्म हुआ, मैंने मॉन्स्टर हाउस को जिंदा कर दिया by making the windows and doors glow. I used the same technique to make the glowing windows as I used in my last video. कुछ भी ज़्यादा खास नहीं कर रहा हूँ इधर मैं, बस थोड़ा realistic और creepy look लाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ. Speaking of creepy, I found this terrific looking pumpkin on the internet and wanted to include it somewhere in the artwork. So I placed it in the window, lurking upon the kids. I did the same thing with the left side of the house, referring to the poster for the ideas.
Then I finish with the entrance of the house. और फिर मैंने थोड़ा ग्लो पेंट किया जो कि डोर्स और विंडोज से आ रहा था Even after bringing the house back to life, something was missing. At least that's what I thought. तो फिर मैंने कुछ नया try किया, जो कि मैंने कभी try नहीं किया था. I don't know what this technique is called, but it used to create a magic trail. Or at least that's what I found in naming just this video. But when I watched learning screen this video, I thought I should try something similar. So I did. और मुझे नहीं मालूम ये अच्छा idea था या बुरा. तुम लोगों को क्या लगता है? Let me know in the comments below. After finishing with the house, I moved on to the trees, kids and foreground. I painted highlights, shadows and glows accordingly. Finally, I made some final touch-ups and finished it with a camera raw filter and filter gallery. (laughs) 
I hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay wild.